Remembering Ricky Wilkie, a local aspiring musician and father, tragically killed in a crash in Elkton. It's not how his family is coping with their loss. Four people died in that crash yesterday morning. Here's video from Sky 4. In one SUV, three victims from Tampa. They collided head on into the other SUV with 27-year-old Ricky Wilkie behind the wheel. Wilkie was a singer and songwriter who produced his own material and music videos, which can be found on YouTube. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny spoke with Wilkie's family. Eric, we know he leaves behind a four-year-old son. He Yes, he does. And when I spoke to family members, they tell me that yesterday morning he was on his way to begin training for a new job in St. John's County when his life was cut short by a head on collision with another vehicle. Seven-year-old Richard Wilkie, who went by the first name Ricky, was a man with an incredible voice who loved to sing. His mother and sister say he wrote his own music and even produced this video, which has been viewed more than 980 times on YouTube. We stand apart while they kill. Ricky had the voice of an angel. He could hit any note. And when he sang, you know, it was... Uh, it just brought tears to your eyes. But his life was cut short Wednesday morning on State Road 206 in Elkton. While driving to a new job, his SUV, which was traveling eastbound, collided head-on into another SUV traveling westbound. Investigators say the crash happened as he was attempting to pass another vehicle. It was very shocking the news. Um, you know, I was really close to him. You know, he was my baby brother. And um, it's been it's been very, very hard. Wokey leaves behind a four year old son whom he had custody of and who he called little Ricky. Now the family is doing its best to make sure the child has all the support he needs to deal with his father's death. He said that he's dead. And I don't know if he knows exactly what dead means, but, you know, I think that he felt something because he would not go in his daddy's room and he still hasn't. It's very important, you know, to be there for him and nurture him and make sure you know that and one day you know he will understand you know more about it now his family says they are awaiting the release of his body from the medical examiner's office so they can have him cremated reporting live eric avenue channel 4 the local station